All right, welcome back. This is uh, part two of the ICD-9 tutorial. We're gonna try to make it nice and quick, just like we did with the last one. All right, so last time we went over just a few of the history behind ICD-9, a um, little bit of it. So now let's actually get into the books and things like that. Uh, before we get into the book, one of the first things you got to re uh, recognize are the do's and the don'ts. Um, really, just more the don'ts, because the do's we will be doing later on. As far as the don'ts go, um, and this. It's something that people start to get lazy about, especially when they start getting um, comfortable with the book. Um, do not, I pre this, do not code directly from the alphabetical index, which we're going to be talking about later on. Um, the problem is that, especially when you are beginning and you you, you start to see the codes, you think, oh, you're good to go. Um, don't, don't always code from the uh, from volume uh, from the tabular list from volume one. And do not code from the alphabetical index. And of course, almost use the most current book. Um, as far as you guys go, if you are here and you, you probably just practicing, that's fine. You can buy an older edition. Uh, in fact, you can look at the um, the my Amazon store on the site. It, you know, I offer some uh, books uh, that you can buy through Amazon as well. Um, so those um, you, you can get those in. You can get an older edition. Um, just don't get something that's too old because sometimes the homework that I have, or excuse me, the quizzes that I have may require newer numbers. So just don't get something that's 2009 or 2008 or something like that. But if you have 2011, 2012, I think for the most part you're going to be okay. Um, all right, so let's get going here. So those are two of the big do's nots. Okay. So as far as the book goes and the code goes, we will be concentrating mostly on. Um, well, in the beginning, we're going to concentrate on Volume 1 and Volume 2. The codes in Volume 1 and Volume 2 primarily go by these, uh, this structure. And the structure is you have um, three digits to begin with, and then you have um, trailing two digits to trail. All right. The three um, beginning digits, are, this is known as the category digits, or the category codes. And we'll go over this um, later on as well, we'll get more in depth. With the addition of uh, an additional digit, Right, we'll call this the subcategory, and the fifth digit is a subclassification. All right, so that's the structure of the um, the codes, gen general codes here. All right, three digit category, four digit subcategory, fifth digit is subclassification. All right, good, got it. Let's go. All right, next slide. All right, so um, now typically when we're in class, uh, uh, usually the students would just get. Or even if you are doing the homework or doing a quiz online, you just get a, a simple questionnaire. You just have to, through the questionnaire, you just come up with your answers. Now, in real life, when you are coding, these are the areas where you generally going to get your information to code from. Things like encounter forms, um, uh, which are super bills, fee slips, and charge tickets from your history and physical reports, from your discharge reports, uh, laboratory reports, pathology reports, operative reports, uh, progress notes. Or these are the areas where you're going to get your information to code from. All right. Again, it's a video, so if you have any questions, um, you can just go backwards and uh, rewind it. Or, well, yeah, it's digital, so I guess you don't really rewind. You just go back. Anyway, uh, so what is the general structure of the book? The book that we're going to be using um, this is a book that is published um, by Carol Buck, uh, no affiliation here, but it's a very popular book. It's the one that a lot of um, schools have, a lot, and it's the one that I generally use with my students and the ones that most places will recommend to the students. Um, if you get your own, it maybe might be a hospital edition, um, and it's uh, thicker, but it's, it's, it's fine, but I'm going to go based on the book that generally is the most popular, which is the ones that are published by Carol Buck. So in that book, uh, this is how the, the code normally or the book is structured. It begins with volume two, which students always find strange that volume two comes before volume one, but there's a reason to it. All right, so it begins, it begins with volume two, which is the alphabetical index. The reason it begins because one, it is the index for volume one. And uh, this is a way for you to recognize that you need to go to the first section of the book before you go to the second section. Um, so volume two is the tabular index, right, or the tabular list, uh, right? And so it contains the list of the listing of all the diseases, um, sends you from 001 all the way to 999 uh, category. 
it also contains the V codes it contains the E codes which we'll talk more about later on and then the last portion of the book and um, there are appendices in here before you get to volume 3 but I didn't include it because we'll, well, we'll, we'll get there and then um, from A all the way to uh, E, appendix A to Z, E. And then there's also volume three, which is inpatient hospital only. Now, the reason this book is, uh, this section of the book is here, and in fact, in um, ICD-10, things would be a little different. It won't be, it will no longer be the inpatient, uh, it will, at least will not be called that. The reason is um, here, because this book is a self-contained book. And in fact, if you work in a doctor's office, you really may never have to look through um, this section of the book at all. Uh, you really, your main concentration is going to, is going to be on um, volume two and volume one. Right, so that's how uh, the the book generally is. All right, so let's let's keep going there. Um, okay. Actually, you know what? Me and Mansoor well just talk briefly about it because you, you might need some more information. All right, so. As I mentioned, volume two is the alphabetical index. Um, volume one is the tabular list. It contains all the disease from 001, codes all the way from 001 to 999. Also contains um, what is known as factors that influence your health status. These are the V codes. It contains your external codes of injury. So whenever you have anybody who is injured, uh, poisoned, fractured, and so on and so forth, injuries, we need to uh, add the E code to explain how the individual was injured from the outside meaning external um, and then we have volume 3 volume 3 contains primarily uh, surgeries about 90 percent of the codes here are going to be surgery codes and then you have diagnostic codes we have therapeutic codes um, and so on and so forth and this is used uh, for inpatient coding only right? so let's go over some of the um, let's take a look at how the book itself will look like um, now the book that we're using again contains all three volumes so that we can actually go through it if you buy a book that only has one and two you'll still be fine uh, unfortunately you just will not be able to go through some of the questions that deal with volume three and volume three is a, a bit more intensive so you definitely want to get a book that contains all three volumes uh, with that said let me show you a few videos and then I will show excuse me a few um, images of the sections and then we'll uh, I'll meet you in part three for um, the rest of the items. All right, so volume one, right, volume one, as we just mentioned, this is a tabular list, right? Contains the diseases. As you can see, we are looking at the very first chapter of volume one. Volume one has 17 individual chapters, which again we'll go over later on. But this will be chapter one, and the codes, as you can see, the code range it ranges from 001 all the way to 139. And this is volume two. Right, volume two contains all the alphabetical listings. Um, so whatever code you find here. So let's say, for instance, um, we're looking in there. We found a code, and the code was, uh, let's say, it was other salmonella, right? And it was zero zero three something something something, right? So basically, all we do is we'll we'll be looking here. We'll look up salmonella in the S, and salmonella will tell us the code we're looking for is zero zero three, and we'll come here to confirm and make sure the code itself is correct. All right, and we'll learn more about that later on. And again, the very last volume is volume three. All right, so I will see you, and we will talk more about uh, portions of ICD-9. All right, see you in the next video.